Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on um, more as just like a little chit chat and just show you what I'm up to right now. Uh, well, actually I'm up to a lot of things right now, but at this very moment I am um, going to be doing some friendship pins. So I, I had a video a while back where I was making, I don't know if you can see these, I'm sitting down, so hopefully you can see everything. Um, but I was making these friendship pins. The thing that I um, found, though, as I started using these, is because there's this coil um, here, you can't put the beads around to the other side. So normally, when you would undo this, um, you would stick this part through the lace but obviously when you have beads on you can't so I was limited um, with what I was able to or limited with the um, types of laces that I could use these ones are though I do have laces that I can definitely use them and eventually maybe I'll transfer these over to coilless ones but um, what I did was I was on Amazon the other day and I just um, searched in coilless pins and um, these came up and as you can see you know I mean they're regular just like these except there's no coil right there so that way when you put a bead on you can slide it all the way around and that's what I'm looking for because you know what? I want to turn this on just to see if this is I don't know if that works any better but um, I wanted to give these ones a try to see if they they what am I trying to say? If the beads will actually go all the way around and I can, you know, use them for what I was planning on using, using these ones for. Because when we were younger, it didn't matter because these went on our shoelaces. So realistically, the shoelace just had to go through there. It didn't matter um, where the beads were, you know, what, what side they were on. So... Um, that's what I was making from memory, how we used to put the beads on and just put them on our laces. But now with junk journals, you actually have to pin it through a lace or, you know, a trim or something. So these ones are a little bit more tricky. They do work, um, like for example, hold on, let me see what I have here. Like this one might work because see there's wider holes. So you can actually put the whole pin head through and do it that way. Or possibly something like this that has the big eyelets you could put it through that way so I mean I still can use them and I have used them it's just that um, I have to be a little bit more selective on what types of trims I'm putting them on so with that being said um, I got these today and I want to just play around a little bit with them now I have these beads these are the beads that I got um, last weekend at or in Brimfield the um, antique flea market and I also have um, this jar of beads that my friend Alicia sent to me thank you and so I thought you know what let's just put some together and see what we come up with so oh, I don't want to break this how do I open this oh okay so I'm using my little trays that I got in Brimfield to dump these out on. So we have some here, and let me just make sure, because I am sitting down, because I don't want to stand up the whole time. All right, I think as long as I stay in this area, we should be good. So I'm just gonna open, oh, they've really taped these. Oh, geez, huh. Let me see. I really would like to keep them in the plastic bags, but I don't think I'll be able to. I'll have to find my other plastic bags or maybe maybe little glass jars or plastic jars. I had some around here. I just got to look for them. All right, let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> maybe I should have opened these before. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to use this one for these and then I'll probably just use this one for these and since I'm not going to use the bags let me just cut them open okay 
Whoa, that's a lot of bees. Oh, and a couple just fell. Oopsies. Hmm. Oh, there's some tiny ones in this one. There's some tiny ones in hers, too. Oh, gosh. So these are really pretty. These are very, like, pastel -y, but there's some deep blues in here. These here... I'll move these in a little bit. Um, they're just more random. They're all just random beads. So, let's... Let me get it. Oh, hold on one second. Oh, something was itching my leg. All right, so let me get a pen and um, let's just start. I want to start with. Let's start with. Sometimes it's easier not even to pick them up, but to use this um, to pick them up. But now that I'm on camera, of course, it's going to be a lot more difficult because when I'm by myself, they just go on. But see, it doesn't turn. Why? Maybe it's this one. All right, let's try another one. Let's try a little itty bitty one. Oh, see, now that one. Okay, so certain beads will, apparently certain beads won't. So let's just get a few of these blue ones on. And, yep, they can all turn, so the smaller ones work really well. Oh, but here's a little problem. Let's get over there. There we go. Um, and if you hear any kind of screaming in the background, um, that's my youngest son. He's playing online some online game with all his friends and they get really loud and rowdy and he screams a lot so you might hear him oh I just broke that bead oopsies okay <laughs> let me try um I wonder if these these are really cool these are like I don't know if you can see that it's like a glass bead but where's the hole oh it's on the side Oh, I don't think this one will go around. Oh, this doesn't even fit on my pin. Okay, never mind. That's pretty, though. There's a few in here that are really pretty. Um, 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 um. Let's see. What if I use a yellow bead? And then maybe some more blue beads. Sometimes I feel like when I do a craft along video, I concentrate too much and realize that I'm not really talking. So um, you would have to excuse me if that does happen. And this one, I don't want to break it. So let me take this one off and find a different one. How about this one here? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, it's really like they have to be a certain... Maybe it's the hole. I don't know. But that one isn't working. Let me just close that. And I hope I'm in frame. Oh, I broke it again. Oh, jeez. I'm not doing very well with these beads. <laughs> oh, hold on. Sorry. I feel like something keeps tickling my leg. Oh yeah, I was gonna check if I was in frame. Oh yeah, I am. Hopefully you're seeing this. There we go. Okay. Um, 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 um. I don't know what the difference of all the little holes are. Try that one. There we go, okay. And let's see what that looks like. So, I mean, yeah, that works. That's kind of cool. But uh, let's try these beads for a minute and see what ones I can get on here. Oh, there's a lot of little ones, too. Let's just see if these itty-bitty ones go around. Oh, see, look. See, that one goes right around. So, I don't know. I guess it's not the size of the bead, maybe. Maybe it's just the size of the hole 
It's because it has to get around. I don't know. Well, Alicia's beads are winning. Yep, all of them so far. Let me just pick this up a little bit because sometimes it's easier like this. And um, the journal I'm working on right now, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you guys. The kit that I'm using is absolutely like, I mean, I, I can't even put it into words. Um, of course, it's a kit from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. It's called Dear Diary. If you do want to check out the kit, you can go to her um, her Etsy right now because it's there. Um, but oh, I don't know if that one's too little. But um, I can't even explain to you how gorgeous it is. It's like um, vintage-y, but oh, how can I describe it? I don't know but I cannot wait to show you. But the colors are very like, like the the beiges and the browns kind of, and like real grungy vintage, like the stuff that I absolutely love, the colors are in this journal. So the, there's, I wanna put like beading like this in, where it's kind of like the beige -y but clear, but kind of just cool looking beads. And there's a lot of those in this pile here. So, these ones I probably will be making for, oh, and there's no hole in that one, for um, the journals because I do want to start using a lot of friendship pins in my journals because I just love the way they look. Um, and I think it just gives it that extra little cool factor. Oops, that's an itty bitty one. All right, let's see what that looks like. And I bet if I could find another of those turquoise beads, let's see. Um, that one. Hmm. You know what? I wonder if I close it, if that'll help pushing it around. But maybe. And I feel a little handicapped today because I don't know if you've noticed right here, my nail broke, but it's broken on top of the skin. So I can't really cut it, but it's almost like a useless finger now because I can't, every time I do something, obviously it pushes on my nail and then it pushes up and it hurts. So I don't know. I guess I could just cut it all the way off, but then there's this little part that's just so annoying. Ugh. And my nails are horrible anyways because I don't take care of them ever. I don't ever paint. Well, no, I shouldn't say I don't ever paint them. I just don't like to paint them um, because it takes too long for the, I was about to say for the glue to dry, for the nail polish to dry. I definitely would not go to a salon to get it done because I don't have enough patience to sit there and let somebody do stuff with my nails. So that's just a, not a possibility. So it's just like, I don't know. I just don't have the time or the energy really to um, do much with my nails. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And I actually really like the way these color, like this is just completely mismatched. Let me just stand up and show you. There's no rhyme or reasoning to the colors, but these colors are going to go very well in my book. So... I don't know. I hope you can see me this whole time. Maybe should I go in a little further? I don't know. So if I'm down here, well, that's okay. When I finish, I can always stand up, but at least, and obviously you can see what I'm doing. Like, it's not a big secret what I'm doing here. Um, it's just kind of fun to see other people. Like, I like to watch them craft, so I don't know. Maybe people like to watch me craft. Um, let me, I want to do some, I want the bold on here, so I put the black on, just, oh, that was a good one, just to see, kind of like, what it would look like, um, 
I like the way this is looking. And I, you know what? The other ones that I did, these ones, I really thought out what I was going to put on each pin. Like it was color planned. It was, you know, coordinated. I want to do some that there's like no real method to the madness, I should say. Because sometimes when you put things together like that, they come out so much better. I don't know why. Um... This one's not fitting. So, you know, why not? Let's just try it. Oh, there we go. Let's find another. I want this one here. Maybe I need like little tiny tweezers or something because these beads are so super small. Like teeny tiny small. Oh, but they're so cute. I love them. It's just tricky sometimes just to get them on. All right, let's close this one up and see what this one looks like. Okay. Hopefully I'm close enough that you can see that. So that one's pretty cool too. Yeah. All righty. Um, okay, let's try some of these beads just to see because these beads look bigger but the bigger sometimes didn't necessarily mean that they were able to turn turn the little corner thing so let's just try and see what happens oh these beads are so fun oh that one was good all right um there's so much like randomness in here See, doesn't matter the size, sometimes the big ones don't fit either. Um, oh, those are doing good. Okay, so let us continue on. See how many of this makes. Oh no, oh no, that's not turning. All right, maybe if I, there we go, let's try that. Let's see, will these turn? Hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go, all right, and I want like another clear type one. Oh, what's this one here? Will that turn? Let's see. Oh, hmm. Yep. There we go. All right. Uh, hopefully I'm in frame and in focus. So there's that one. All right. Let me just show you. Um, I did. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. But I did start to cut out uh, some of the ephemera to the kit. So I can just show you the colors. Um, see how it's just so vintagey and grungy. And I love these types of things. Um, so see what I mean? Oh, whoa. <laughs> see what I mean? Like something like that would just go. It's just so cool looking. All of these. So, so yeah. So this is the types of um, colors, but I can't wait for this one. Like when I saw it, I was so excited and I was like, I need to have it now. But I was in the middle of working on the previous two projects. So I didn't want to get um, started with another one until I finished those two. But now that those are finished, um, I can concentrate on the new one. But I had to stop and take a break for a little bit uh, and just shift my attention to something else because I don't like to always just go, 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 go with journals because I feel like I lose my mojo a lot if I do that. I feel like um, my ideas don't flow as well. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I feel like, oh no, 
Please go around. No. Okay. What about this one? No. Oh. Huh. Let's see. Sometimes it's hard to look at things on camera. And it's funny because the minute I put the camera away, everything just kind of works. But when I have the camera on, I feel like I'm like all thumbs or something. Or I'm not getting my point across. Like I know what I want to say in my head, but it doesn't ever really, you know, come out that way. So, so thanks for always being patient and bearing with me. And trying to figure out my craziness. The funny thing, actually, a funny story I have to tell. Um, a lot of times um, when I'm texting somebody or messaging somebody or, you know, emailing, anything like that, I use the talk to text feature because my big old fingers don't type fast enough. Like I see some people and they're like, do, 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 on their phone. I'm like, do, do. <laughs> like I text so slow um, but I found that the talk to text feature is really good because I can just talk and it listens to what I'm saying and then you know writes it out for me um, now I do that a lot when I'm messaging my friend Alicia and <laughs> sometimes I don't go back and read what I actually said because I can't say typed what I actually said and sometimes it makes no sense but she's so funny because she's able to translate all the weirdness that comes across I don't know how because I look back and I just die I'm just like what in the world was I trying to say so kudos to her for being able to translate my gibberish when it comes through um hmm <laughs> I want a dark brown one. I don't know. Let's see. I gotta look at all the little... These ones are too little, though. These ones I feel are bigger. Um, hmm. And there's probably lots of dark brown right in front of me. But I'm kind of tired right now because it's a little late. Um, not that it's late, late, but for me it's late. Though my eyes are getting a little bit sleepy. <sighs> let's try this and let's see if this will go around come on oh you're almost there okay oh no that was there we go ah perfect and look at that see I love how like the randomness of colors in these I'm definitely gonna do all of these like this because I think sometimes like this it just it's different but it just goes. I don't know. I don't know. Well. <laughs> so I think I'll continue on working on some more pins. Um, and maybe I'll come back and do a final video to show, you know, what I made. Or maybe you'll just have to wait and see them in my next upcoming project. So thanks so much for watching and listening to my blabbery chit chat. <laughs> I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.